What's up guys, my name is Flaming Ice and welcome back to Pokemon Whack. In the last episode, we found some crazy guy, spirit, demon thing, and uh, let's take over the world. So now we're going to space or something. So yeah, we've taken a real uh, crackhead turn for the worst. Alright, you know this music's actually kind of popping. First I gotta find out how in the world I get out of here though. It doesn't I oh, there's a staircase, nice. I was wondering, did they expect me to fly or something? Oh shit, that guy's still there. Hey yo, where's my speed hack at? Okay, it, it should be good now, yup. I, I wasn't actually paying attention to where he said he wanted me to go, but I, if I'm not mistaken, now that I'm thinking about it, it was Cybergate City or something like that? So I remember he said we need like tech or something. Let's heal up, and uh, we'll get our flying mon. I think we're good on heals right now, so I think the best thing we can do is probably enter the facilities, right? Unless there's something over here. No, there isn't. Alright, we're chilling basically. We're straight chilling. Where's my boy at though? Is he in the cybersphere? I mean, I can't imagine this being the case, right? Like, like why on earth would he be in here, though? <sighs> Could have sworn he said Cybergate City, though. What's what is this building? Oh, space research. That looks like the the be the big blam. What am I saying? It looks like the real deal. Each flum is horrible. A group of weird-looking juvite and whack grunts took off with three engines needed to pilot the starship. They were no doubt being all all being controlled by him. We don't have much time. We'll manage to split up. We'll we'll have managed to split up and search for them. That is not good grammar. We managed to pinpoint the direction they're going. Each flum, you'll have you'll go after the ones that are headed to the bottom of the world in the frozen wastes of Wactica. You'll need this. You gotta dive. Okay. One of my men can take you a certain distance, and then you'll be on your own. He's waiting for you with the boat right above this building. Make sure you're thoroughly prepared before you head out. Good luck and be careful. And Zadoff, and oh, we're together. Let's do this. Weird reading that. What are you people to say? Wait, so now, like, how big is this game? Wait a minute. Like, we got a whole Antarctica section. What kind of wildin' is this? Mm, there isn't anywhere to go here, sir. Oh, we have to use dive. That's right. Who are we teaching dive to, though? That's man. You're really gonna make me waste another move slot with an another useless HM that has like a one-time use, bro. This is kind of crazy. This game is huge. I was nowhere close to the end as I thought I was. Use this, and we'll teach it to. Wait, Relish knows dive? How though? How does he know dive? Okay, I guess we're deep under the water now. I mean, these Pokemon look mad weak though. Level 17 had ass. Uh, ooh, that's a pretty cool looking Magikarp. I mean, so much for unsafe waters, huh? Like, like what is this? Level 17? Kuta Hulu? Well, maybe shit gets real inside the cave. That would make sense. Bzzzd. Oh boy. An electrode. Oh, that guy's kind of big. Oh, should I caught? Should I've caught that guy? He kind of seemed cool. I think he might have been like, like a special Pokemon. Dang it! Well, that was a a throw on my part, I guess. Also, a really piss poor place to be having to race at, though. Hello. How am I breathing underwater? I could ask you the same thing. You think you'll be able to breach the surface of this catastrophe? When the truth is, you'll only end up drowning. If you say so. Oh no, I think we're gonna buy. We're, we're really about to get clapped right now. Like, look at this Gyarados, bruh. Argument error. Oh, his moves don't work, I think. Maybe. I think we're balling now. I Yeah, none of his moves work. They keep on, like, throwing error boxes. So I guess. I guess we're just gonna cheese this fool. It's not very effective indeed. Walk. Huntail. Huntail, okay. Well, Darkest Larry, this guy. Well, all these guys are dark types, I guess. Use close combat. Mission one shot, right? Where's the super effective, bro? Are these guys... I, I don't even understand what's going on anymore. A Warshin. Use another Darkest Lariat. Okay, it's... Ri oh, no, no, no. We gotta kill this dude fast. It's over. It's over. Okay, okay. It, it may be over right now. Capsize. Okay, just one Pokemon has to let, has to use like Quick Attack or something, and we win. Just Quick Attack or something. All right, Breezy, 
Come on, you can do it. Bottle blast this guy. Just live, live this, live this. Don't, don't get confused. Don't, no, no, no. Thank you, thank you. Okay, there we go, breezy. Could the dude? Oh no, he has more Pokemon. <sighs> Ice? I don't know. He's fridge slam maybe. Oh. Yeah, it is pretty much over at this point. Wait, what is this background music? It sounds familiar for some reason. He missed? Okay, let's see what- Let's see if Jeff is even competent of doing anything. Okay, he does like some damage. You know what, let's see Jeff take care of this. Okay, okay. Jeff gained some EXP here? I think I can outpace this guy, honestly. Oh, never mind. Well, there goes Jeff, but I mean, he did some serious damage there. He, he deserves some credit for that. Wait, do I even have EXP share on anymore? Now nah, I'm wondering that. Where? Wait, do any of my Pokemon use EXP share? Welcome to the white expanse of emptiness. Have I been wasting all this EXP thus far? Wait a minute. I don't even have EXP share anymore. What the? How? Where's my EXP share? Are you trolling right now? Okay, let's see. What can I be doing out here? Let's run. This cave, you know what? We'll even use a hyper potion on Teresa. Just fuck it moments. All right, Wactica. Is anything happening here? Probably not. I mean, you got like a diabetic Dratini, it seems. I can't help but feel like I'm missing like some important items along the way. But you know, it's hard, it's hard to say if that's true or not. Like you got Ice Magikarp here that's level 17. Looks pretty baller though. All right, where is this item? I'm actually getting trolled out here. Like I'm, I'm deep within these recesses right now. Maybe I was supposed to visit here a long time ago. The boss said he'd be stopping by. Good luck, it's dangerous out there. Why is it snowing inside but not outside? I've lived here since I was born and now here I am, the sole survivor of my village. Your village is underwater? I can't bring myself to leave this place. I can't bring myself to leave them behind. They might still come back. Traveler, will you please take the time to listen to the story of my village disappeared? A long, long time ago, there used to be a village here. We lived by hunting and offering our thanks to the earth. Despite the harsh conditions, there was an abundance of food. Things were peaceful. Then one day, the chief of the village... Is this supposed to be like Avatar the Last Airbender or something? They had a Pokemon battle on the youngest one. The eldest brother, distraught at his defeat, left the village with his loyalists and headed towards the mountains. Ever since we were young, we had told never we had been told never to go to the mountains, as vengeful spirits from the time before man lived there. Everyone in the village thought of him and his followers dead. A year passed, then the children of Pokemon started to disappear from the village. We found mutilated corpses of Pokemon and animals when we went on our hunts. They had claw marks and bite marks. I mean, aren't you going hunting, so isn't this what you want? To eat animals and stuff? your Pokemon. <laughs> one day we found one of our missing children. We had never seen anyone brutalized like this before. People stopped going out to hunt. We survived as much as we could onto our crops. Then one day a group of brave or foolish young men decided to go out and kill these things. That night we heard must have been their screams ring out till dawn. They never came back. Another group of men went out hunting and said saw something they couldn't see a man but couldn't be a beast. It was like some unholy union of both. A furry? <laughs> In the year that followed, we periodically heard hear what sounded like singing mixed with screaming. The distance, you mean TikTok, and we'd find more and more dead bodies. People whispered that it was the chief's brother and his followers transformed into the pack of monstrosities by the ancient spirits in the mountains. Then one day I woke up, and nobody was in the village. It was as if I had been the only one there. I looked everywhere in the village for my people, but could not find a single trace of where they went. I waited and waited and waited and waited, but they never returned. That night I saw a flash of multicolor light, Aurora Borealis. It was after cooking some steamed hams. Then I hear thousands of thousands of different voices screaming louder than anything I've ever heard. And then I saw a shadow ball louder in the light, something larger than the mountain. It let a bellowing roar that drowned out the screams and it stared right at me, E.E. E. Cummings style. I started running in there faster than I thought humanly possible away from the mountain, away from my village. I couldn't remember much after that, just vague images of flashing lights and silhouettes standing in the corner of my vision. When I came to, I was at this outpost. That was 60 years ago. 
I regret leaving my village behind. Forty years ago, I worked with the courage to go back, but it wasn't there. All that was left was cold, frigid snow. My brother's always been reclusive. He has had a great interest in the spirits of the mountains and the dark arts. The beasts who spirited him away are no doubt him and his companions. I beg of you, please find them and put my people's souls to rest. That was deep. Holy, I was not expecting such an interesting story about this. I thought we were just going to be like, oh, kill the guy on the fetch quest. There's two of you now. What the heck? You know what? I won't even question it. That's just Pokemon whack at its finest. Okay, so we got the outpost here. Well, th you know, that's a better story than modern day Pokemon games. I, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but this like 4chan game or whatever. I know I was ripping on the story in the last episode, but that was genuinely a better story, more well written than the actual Pokemon stories Game Freak puts out. It's just like boy goes on adventure, stops terrorist organization or something. Can't be open, not all of them. You can't open all of them. Some will be removed. January, kill, kill, 456, 555, 444, 333. Oh, this is a guy. So we just fight doors these days? You know, may maybe they're like alive doors. That's interesting. Okay, since we're about to fight a bunch of ice types, I think Teresa is actually kind of optimal here. Kind of nice. Another one. Every door open, but will you be permitted to enter? Great question. Another level 80 black door. So they got white on the outside, black on the inside. You know, it does- oh no, poison. <sighs> we need berries, that's what I should've gotten. Berries. Well, clearly I haven't been thinking things through. Poison. Yeah, okay, we'll go into our bag and we'll use like a... Uh... I don't wanna waste a forest door, bruh. That's so expensive and it's a full heal. Well, not a full heal, but you know what I mean. Alright, hopefully this poison goes away fast and Teresa does not get dogged. What is our health at right now? 204. Oh boy. I mean, when you think about it, there's like no difference for me waiting all this time. I mean, it really depends on how far the, the poison takes me. You know what I'm saying? I'd be conscious of my steps here. Hey, what is this about here? Timeless. Should I be reading these? And aeons and aeons after us, they will live on. Okay, yeah, I'm not trying to waste Teresa's health here, totally. One every second, huh? Oh, you got a little bit, bruh! You're gonna do me like this? Okay, so now we know how this how this is about to go down. Ew! They made a raisin out of the penguin. Wildin. All right, one sixty-five. Foolish are the apes who view themselves as the prime. Well, who said I was an ape? I'm clearly like an amorphous black solid. Aeons before. Okay, well this is the same message. So I gotta be careful to not fall off the mountain. So we go down, and then we take ourselves up. Go there, here, down. Ooh, now what? So go up, here. That just takes me back. I mean, at this point, now I might as well use the, the max, the full, already caught, full restore, no. What? Your boy Cheezin? Gaming every day. Okay, somehow that worked. Not even gonna try to question how that happened. Let's read what this says, why not? Why were humans created? There isn't a reason. Okay, if you say so. Maybe a wish was to be born, as they say. No need to get so philosophical. So I think this is the ramblings of that dude's brother going insane. Probably, right? I mean, that, that would make the most logical sense. A strong wild Pokemon attacked. Bruh, chill with these. Hey, you know what? I want to cop this guy. Let's see, you think a flame charge would kill him? Like, no way, right? This is so weak. <laughs> okay then, never mind. What a waste of time. So much for strong, huh? I wonder if that was like a rare like event that just happened there. Like a level 80 Pokemon, you call that a special event, I call that a Tuesday. They created us, it's a cruel joke. Who? It's only natural that we repay them. 
Oh boy, I think we're going into straight cuckoo bananas uh, territory. It's all a cruel. Tr oh, come on, bro. Obama's really gonna be out here trying to prevent me from figuring out the world's secrets. Not today, Obama. I mean, you say strong Pokemon, but like the wild Pokemon are just four levels under. So, so much for that, huh? Also, like the trainer Pokemon are 20 levels above that. Just, just think about that. They are our true masters. We are not our masters. A max revive, that's cool. Alright, we are definitely in the in the whack whack one. Like I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> I, I'm, I really am at a loss for words. You see a picture of a strange shadowy figure holding what appears to be a Pokeball. You mean me? Incomprehensible text is written under it. They believed it says, gotta catch them all. But like seriously, like, I don't even know what to say at this point. The game has just gone so like off the rails. I can't, I can't even make any witty commentary. We're just like deep in that trudges of Wactartica or Wactica or whatever they call it. But a surprising amount of care and detail was put into this game. Like more than I thought they were gonna put. I really thought it would end with like the gym leaders in the Elite Four. But, like this post game is legitimately better than like the Sword and Shield story. You know this would be a good place to train my Pokemon. I cannot allow you to pass. Okay, well it's good I didn't attack them both at the same time. Oh my, that dude is looking worse for wear. He has no chill. Music is fire though. Okay, how come this dude lived? What kind of trolling is that? Next one, I'll just use a flamethrower. It'll be easy every time. Humanoid, alright, that's like another trash type. Wait, you have to use flamethrower on him, that's right, I forget. Non-humanoid is the one you use dark type moves on. That's right. I love how Hail does the exact same damage as Leftover's heals. So, you know, it's like meaningless, basically. Okay, I'm gonna flame charge and end it off. There we go. Easy every time. There goes unpass. I cannot allow you to pass while well, you just did, dumbass. Oh, how many times? Bro. We're really stuck in an infinite loop, huh? I wonder if this is that glitch thing that's happening again where like it didn't, the, the variable or whatever you call it for checking to see if I beat the guy didn't pass yet. Which is dumb. Or maybe I'm stuck in an infinite recursion loop. Alright, hopefully this man's is done with his trolling. I cannot allow you to pass. Huh, well you just did. So hungry. So hungry. Flame charge him. Insanity bolt. I thought this would be super effective against me. Okay, we'll use like another flamethrower here. He's burned even. Gravity intensified. You're gonna cause the whole cave to br cave in, bro. Chill with that. Chill. Alright, Teresa, just clap all these men's. You know, estamos boleando ahora. Non humanoid. See, this is the guy we used Darkest Lariat on, I'm pretty sure. Oh, never mind. Just pure dogging, it seems. Wow, my health is getting mad buffeted right now. Dark Pulse, that does nothing. Hail does more damage. That's how you know they're wildin'. And there he goes. Balling every day. There goes Jerks. I will starve. You will starve, bro. Wow, we don't even get to walk up the stairs like a badass. He has fed us, yet we still hunger. Our hunger cannot be sated. We will consume all on this earth. They came before us. They are the true rulers of reality. No, they are reality. You stand on the outskirts of their city, built before the age of man. Only a fool would dare try to impede their progress. Oh yeah? Well, I happen to be a fool with a level 100 Teresa, so I can definitely clap you. <sighs> no effort required. Watch this. We flamethrower this guy, and then we like, uh, well, aura aura this guy or something. Like, okay, me blizzards me. Don't care. It was one of this man's Pokemons. Whoa! Okay, Stando, what the? Stando can actually do attacks? What the? What? What? Use like a Darkest Lariat on this guy. And then we use a Aura Aura on this guy. Argument exception. Oh, this guy has broken moves, that's right. Okay, Aura Aura, Aura Aura, Aura? Okay, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see, Stando. Level 57 and clapping cheeks. Kind of fire. Get rid of this guy. Another Aura Aura. His move doesn't exist. Darkest Lariat, I'm out of existence. Oh, that's the wrong dude. Doesn't matter though. Now we'll 
flamethrower this guy, and then another aura aura. Yep, his all his moves are just broken, balling every day. What kind of levels does Stando get from this? Nothing, just one level. Okay, let's see. This looks like another Darkest Lariat, and then an Aura Aura. Yup. Easy every time. There goes Con and Prof. Nothing can stop the hunger, yet I feel like these. We are all that will remain. Give me some good money. I cannot control my hunger. Rawr, rawr. Bro, what the? What kind of? Man. Oh, I'm just fighting the person now. What the? That is crazy. That is just crazy. Well, you know, you best believe I'm eating some flamed men's tonight. Women's tonight. Easy every time. Give me some of that food. From dust I came, and from dust I shall return too. Ooh, we're getting a very apocryphal. There are some things the human mind cannot just handle. If you say so, if you say so. You cannot understand the text at all. You wanna fight this person? I reject humanity, I reject the world. The only thing for me is my mind. My mind's the only one, everything else is a dream. It's a dream SMP? Sus. Okay, we'll just kill this Gyarados real quick, and then I think we may just end the episode. There he goes. Oh, he's half ice, half water. That's no bueno. This is whatever, though. We'll just darkest layer you didn't call it a day. There we go. Nice. Oh, she has more Pokemon. Nigen and Nice. Who are these Pokemon Clover rejects? Life is but a dream. You will Nagroff or Groff roar. Oh, fighting her now. Alright, fortunately, these people die in like one hit. It's fine. There we go. Well, that should do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video, please thumbs up. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.